For the past few months, Tempest has been traveling around the different kingdoms, informing them about Storm King's defeat and that he will, won't return. After she had made that promise and was com complete with her duty, she had decided to return back to Poland. After that, she had been once offered by Twilight to stay there with her and her friends. But she felt it was her duty to inform the other kingdoms that Storm King was gone. And now once she had taken care of her 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 mission, she wanted to go back to Ponyville to stay there with her new friends. And she had been traveling from one big city, and the last stop for going to Ponyville was to stand was in fact in Candelot. And she had been traveling a whole night on a train, and she wanted to had something to eat before she takes the train back to Pulmuri. And since the train wasn't supposed to be not arriving to at the Candelot within the next two hours just after she arrived there, so she had to try to spend some time before going back to Pulmuri. And even though she was so hungry, and she decided to, to eat something, and she found this very exotic restaurant in Candelot, that she wanted to try. Around the same time, Saffron Masala was taking care of some customers when she heard hears the doors open. She greets the new customer and shows her table and gives her the menu. The first thing she noticed though that this pony had a damaged horn. She never had experienced or even noticed this any other pony with a damaged horn before. But she was always polite and gave the customer a moment to, to order to the good friend menu to see what she wanted on the order. And she ordered a soup. And of course, even though that Saffron said that that was an excellent choice, and only a moment later, when she came back to the table, she asked the customers the customer what he thought about the soup and she said that it was very delicious it was as spicy enough as yes, she likes it that made saffron smile and she even said that that was her favorite soup and it was also a family recipe she even asked if the customer wanted something else to eat and in fact, she said that she wanted to have maybe some more of the soup because she hasn't even been eating much today. And of course, Saffron went back in the kitchen and get some more. And now, by the time, Tempest was the only customer at the restaurant. So, since there were not much any other customers, Saffron decided to maybe talk to the new customers for only a few minutes until the next customer arrives. She even learns that she, her, her name is Tempest Shadow and she is going back to Ponyville after they have been traveling around for the past few months after taking care of a mission. She was a little bit more curious to know more about this mission. Even though the Tempest didn't mind to telling her about it, she was more fascinated, fascinated about this story and even learning more the background why Tempest took this mission. Saffron was in fact in town when Sa Cantalot was attacked by Storm King, or at least by her. But then Saffron realized that Tempest was in fact the same pony who arrived in this big airship only only a few months earlier. She was even scared because after she learned about her, that she had redeemed herself. Help to stop Storm King with help of Twilight and her friends, but at the same time, she had regretted all her past actions with the helping Storm King after that he had tricked her, believing he would use the magic to restore her horn. Saffron was shocked because she didn't expect that all of this. But she said that she was understanding that Tempest was tricked by Storm King by believing 
he could help her by restoring her horn. But after believing without her horn for some time, she had yet good use to leave it without one. Even though that when the next customers arrived, Tempest mentioned that she actually enjoyed her company, and then Saffron asked if she maybe wanted to spend time with her at her work. Maybe just maybe we'll show around the town, maybe something like that. Even though that Tempest was supposed to be taking the train back to Ponyville within the next few hours, but Tempest she decided to stay in town for another for, not, for about a day before going back to Ponyville, and she actually said thanks, and she even wrote a letter in sending it back to. Twilight was informing her that she was staying pulled in Canada for not just for a day to relax and maybe explore town for herself. And Twilight, she wasn't even mad about that because she understood. So after that, she Tempest left the restaurant. She looked around a little bit, and only a few hours later, she met up met up with Saffron, and she had in, even invited. Tempest would stay at her home overnight. Even though Tempest didn't even first want to be there, she didn't want to be saying that she she said that she didn't want to be a, like a burden to her and her parents. But Saffron said that her father would mind if she had friends to be staying over for just for a night. And during that time, Saffron and Tempest walked around the town. And they started to get to know each other better, and even that Tempest didn't mention something about her past, like it was the reason why she left home and when she encountered Storm King in the first place and became his second in command and like that. Even even the Saffron didn't mention that she lost her mother when she was young, and that she and her father moved to Canterlot several years ago from Saddle Arabia. They wanted to start a new life somewhere and that they want to open a restaurant together. Even though that Tempest and Saffron have so different backgrounds, but they felt connected for some reason. And at around the same time when the sun was getting down, Saffron decided that maybe it was time to go back home and she invited Tempest. But when they came to her home, Tempest was very surprised to see his the style around in the home. It was very unique. It was filled with decorations, paintings, even rugs and everything. So it was from Saudi Arabia, and even the smell of exotic spices in the air. It turned out, Saffron's father was cooking dinner, and even though that Saffron's father was a little bit curious no more about Tempest. After that, what she had told him about herself, he was a little bit surprised that she was the pony that was conquered Cantlot only a few months ago. But after learning that he, she had been tricked by Stone King about as a big promise, being restoring her horn. But even though, after dinner, both Tempest and Saffron sat in the living room, just small talk before there was time to go to bed. They didn't have any guest room, for unfortunately, but Saffron invited to let to let Tempest sleep in her room. She could take her to bed while she sleeps on the bed on the floor, but Tempest said no. But Saffron insisted. So after being doing that, even though that after Saffron was deep asleep, Tempest lied on the bed. She was very. Curious how things will turn out when she returns back to Ponyville. There was, I mean, there was something else though. She was thinking about Saffron. She has been so kind to her and very unique as a pony character. She was a little different, like almost like herself. They, they shared a lot of things in common. They liked the type of same food, the type of some music, and they both loved to travel. But there was something about her that made her realize she was a very beautiful mare. But she didn't thought more and more about that because later on she fell asleep. 
Early next morning, Tempest woke up that Saffron and her father had made breakfast. Tempest then spent maybe at least a couple hours more in the house before she went to the train station. Saffron accompanied her as, well, as just as a new friend. They said goodbye to each other, and on the way to Pullman, Tempest was just was feeling happy at made a new friend and also was happy to going home to new home. At the train station, she was greeted by Spike. It turned out Twilight was busy at the school at that moment, but she didn't mind that. Spike and Tempest had just been good friends themselves. So when they went back to the castle, they waited for Twilight to return. After about a few hours, she did. Tempest was really interested to know more about what's happened in Ponyville since she left. And even Twilight was to know more about her travels to different kingdoms. After all that, even though that she had been sending letters to Twilight from time to time on her journeys. But she wanted to know more about some details. She wanted to know more about the different kingdoms she had been to. And after that, she had taken notes about those different kingdoms on her travel. She then wanted to ask about her staying in Candelot, where she stayed and what she thought about the city. She stayed out in, uh, with her new friend, Saffron Masal. That name was very familiar to Twilight, though. She mentioned that she knows about her. She is a friend of Pinky and Trarity. And they both actually had a great time there. But after that, they had a meeting with Twilight. Tempest decided maybe that she needed some fresh air and just maybe take a walk for by herself. So she did. Tempest was walking around in town when she encountered Pinky. Pinky was on, on her way to the corner when she saw Tempest. She was a bit excited to see her friend again. And she had even, even asked when she had just re when she came back to Tonoville and Tempest said that she returned today. And they started to talk and even Pinky asked where she had been on the travels and if she hadn't met any new friends. About meeting new friends. Tempest mentioned that she even spent time with a new friend from Cantalot by the name Saffron Masala. Pinky immediately re remembers her and telling her that she's a friend of hers. She and Rarity was helping Saffron and her father to keep the restaurant from closing and even helped them to get some customers. That Tempest was not aware of. But she was happy to mention that the restaurant was getting was going well and had a lot of customers and the food was really delicious. Even knowing how much they had been some things they are connected to, like they had so much from similar interests and like something like that. Even though Tempest was invited by Pinky to Sugar Corner to talk more about things that she had traveled, but Tempest decided maybe she wanted to do some, some time for herself. Just she wanted to relax and she hasn't been having much relaxed time by herself since she had on her journey, which Pinky accepted on. Twilight later on, when when the Tempest came back, Twilight was wanted to know more about some of her journeys and other small kingdoms. But after that Tempest had gave her some of the notes about her travels and even some of the letters or some information she had been sending her, Twilight wanted to know more about the different kingdoms. But Tempest said she had told her all that she knows about them, even though that some of the kingdoms was even before she joined the forces of Storm King. So she had no idea as much about them. So, but Twilight was actually very much grateful for some of that, that information. But later the same day, Tempest was really curious to know more about Temp Saffron, and even she started to realize. She had, in fact, started to like her more as a friend. Despite knowing that she had only known her for about a day. 
But there was something about her made her realize she might have some different connection to Safra. But she didn't want to tell this to her friends because she had no idea if this was just meaning there were some strong connection between them. Like friendly connection or something else. So she decided to keep this to keep this to, her, to herself for at least a time being. Even after that, that Tempest has stayed now in Poolerville for the past few months. A lot of things actually have been turning great for her. Tempest has started working with Pinky at Chukaku Cooler as a part-time job, while she was working also as a part-time job at the School of Friendship. She was working as Twilight Assistant and one of these. And even things between her and her new friends was actually seems to be going well. But there were one thing that her friends did notice. Despite that she has a lot of fun with her friends and two great jobs, she was almost feeling lonely. Even that she appearing to be happy, smiling, laughing, but deep down in her heart, she felt lonely. Almost like if that she didn't have any opponent to be with. Especially when none of her friends did actually have a special song. Twilight with Flash, Pinky with Sea Sandwich, Rainbow with Soren, Applejack with Caramel, and Rarity with Fancy Pants, Fluttershy with Discord. There was a lot of that they had some opponent to be with. But Tempest, she felt almost left out, almost like an outcast. She wanted to find a special some pony herself, but she was scared how ponies react about her, about her past and if they would accept her, despite she has no whore anymore, and that she can perform any simple magic spell. Even though that she did try speed dating as an idea from Twilight and even some blind dates suggestions from Rarity, but none of the dates never worked out as she had hoped for, even though she really had high hopes for those two, those dates would work out, but unfortunately they didn't. So after the, some of the failing of the blind dates, she decided she would give up hope to find some point to be with. Even some of her friends tried to convince her at least twice more but Tempest said that she had enough. She would try to give up for at least for now for time being. But even though that Tempest herself wanted to just continue to find some pony to be with, but there were some ponies that she had her eye on and she tried to date them as well, but never worked out as she had hoped for. So after some time, she decided maybe to put dating on the shelf for at least time being and decide to focus on her works and even to make new friendships. But one day, after nearly about a year since she returned to Pony, Safra Mansala had been invited by Pinky to come over for a visit, and she was really happy to be in Poneville after hearing, hearing so much about it from Pinky and Rarity by letters. And when she encountered Tempest, she felt strongly connected to her immediately, because seeing her spending time with Spike by reading some of the Daring Do books, she felt almost like her heart had just stopped. She realized, she didn't realize it, but how beautiful Tempest actually were. She was really kind to Spike, and like a, he was like a kid to her, and even that same day, Tempest actually really noticed how beautiful the Saffron really were. And even though they weren't in any in relationship either, but Saffron just took courage enough and asked if Tempest wanted to maybe go out with her. Which really shocked Tempest. Because that was a question she didn't even expect it to be asked by any pony. For she hadn't been on a date with any pony for at least two to three months. But she said yes. 
and they actually went to a restaurant the same evening. Both actually laughed and had a great time. And even though the saffron was going to stay in Pullmanville for about only about a week, or at least about that, and they were giving them enough time to go on more dates. Because even though that their friends, Pinky, Rarity, and the others were only already aware about their dates, but they were just happy to see and was even hoping this could be a start a new relationship with Saffron and Tempest. Especially Tempest, who had so much bad luck lately about her dating. Even though that she had almost given up hope with herself to find some pony to be with, but after she realized about some, maybe her feelings for Saffron might be the right one to be with. And after that, the week had passed. Saffron had to go back home to pull the canton off. But she promised to write letters to Tempest and keep in touch, and promised to visit her as often as she can. And Tempest did the same thing. And for the next couple of weeks and months have passed, they actually did and continued to write letters, and Tempest went back to Candelot from time to time to spend time with Saffron, and even went on dates. Even that Saffron's father was really surprised that, that his own daughter but stating a mare. But he was really happy and supported. Even though the Saffron really already know that her father would support their relationship. Even though that she wasn't really happy, was really expecting it to happen though. But she was just happy to have at least support from her family. But she did also know that her mother would have supported her relationship and at least being happy to see her daughter being happy to be with some point. Even after all this time that they've been together, Saffron and Tempest's relationship only grew stronger for each single day. But there were at some point when they didn't speak each other for nearly two weeks. There were no fights between them, but just that Saffron had a lot of things to take care of back home. She couldn't even spend time with her. But even one time when they supposed that Saffron was supposed to be going to see Tempest for about a week. But then, she had to write back to Tempest and saying that she can't come see her for about this week because a lot of guest customers had arrived at least on tourists from Manhattan and Trottingham. And that since then, the restaurant was very busy, and she couldn't even leave the restaurant, and especially leaving her father alone with the only tourists at the right. Even though Tempest actually didn't was even mad at her, but she felt almost almost heartbroken that. But she, after some time, she realized she couldn't even that she understood if it was herself in Saffron's position, she would never be handled handled taking care of a restaurant by herself, like taking care of the customers and cooking the food, at the same time greeting new customers. She realized she would not have been in hell that herself. And from that reason, she realized that. And, but then, one day during that week when there were a lot of tourists in Canton, Tempest actually arrived to the restaurant, and that surprised the Saffron though, but she was asking if she was a customer, but she said no, she was there to help. Turn out, she wanted to help her and her father during the time when they had a lot of customers, and especially now when there's a lot of tourists in town, and the extra help made a lot of difference. Her father, Saffron's father, actually accepted the offer from extra help, so Saffron they could decide to focus on the customers and even cooking. Meanwhile, that Tempest were mostly focused on the customers. She greeted them and welcomed them in and take them to show them the table and even give them the, the menu. And even that Saffron could see from the kitchen and even hearing how how most well-trained Tempest were taking care of the customers. 
even though she had never worked in a restaurant before or taking care of some customers in that way, except that she had been working at Sugar Cook Corner back in Poulterville as a part-time job. But even after that, the tourism has been almost slowed down. Both Tempest was really happy to be in the interval, but both Saffron and her father was really grateful for Tempest that she came to prom uh, to Candelot. That made her love for Tempest even stronger. But knowing how much they love being together, their love for each other was just growing stronger and knowing how much passion they had for each other. Even the Tempest realized that she wanted to be with Saffron. And after they had been dating for about three years, Tempest decided to ask Saffron to marry her. She even took her to the park in Cantaloupe and proposed to her. And Saffron was puzzled. She was beyond happiness. She started, literally started to cry and even said yes. She had no idea that that was going to happen because in her mind, she was only expecting Tempest and herself to be in the park just having a time together, just spending relaxing time, just sitting in a park. But having this happen was something she couldn't expect to happen. But she was just really, really happy. And what I told her friends and their families, even though that Tempest had reached out to her family once again after she moved back to Pullman, they were just really happy that Elise Tempest was okay and that she has new friends and she had regret about her leaving her home. But meeting her family, Elise's parents, once again after so long, made her really tearful light. And the wedding itself was held in Cantonal. Even though after the wedding itself, Saffron and Tempest went to Las Pegasus for a whole week, and it was a great time. They had so fun, much fun there, watching some of the shows and having enjoying the rides and the light and the car rolls, and just having a great time. This was a perfect moment they had expected. And even after they came back from the honeymoon, they were thinking where to live. Saffron, she wanted to live with Tempest though, but they couldn't even decide if they want to live in Polyville or in Cantonal. But after realized for Tempest for, for Saffron, Tempest decided to move to Cantonal. But at the same time, because Saffron was still working at a restaurant, and Tempest couldn't even take her away from the restaurant, which would have meant that we need to close down. And since Saffron loved her restaurant so much, she decided to stay in Cantonal with her wife. And for that, she started working there. But even though that Twilight was understood that she would be having no longer assistant back in Canton in the Pulneville, but even though Tempest went back to Pulneville from time to time to see her friends, and they were just having a great time. But after they'd been married for about three years, they had decided they wanted to have a family. So they had decided to ask Twilight if she could help them to have a baby together. And she was honored. She had learned a spell only a few years ago and had helped countless of mere couples to have a baby. But she was willing really happy to help her new friend. Even Tempest decided she would be both carrying the baby, and a few months later, they had a baby daughter. They named the daughter Konga Curry. Konga Curry, she was like a mother. She loved to spend time in the kitchen, cooking, baking, but most of all, 
cooking. She spent a lot of time from, with her grandfather, who learned to teach her about some of the traditional food in from Central Arabia. She did learn so much from him that even spent time with her godmother Pinkie Pie in Poldenville to learn more about baking. She wanted to be a cook when she would grow up herself. Even as she had mentioned this to her parents, and they were a bit surprised that she wanted to be a cook. But, but even seeing that her daughter, that their daughter, has spent so much time in cooking in the kitchen, the restaurant, even back home, she was really passionate about it. She wanted to continue the restaurant business after that. Her parents had retired, and. Both of her parents was really proud to see how commitment her daughter daughter were in the business. Even then, even then, it was many years before there was any time for them, for her moms to be retired. But even as a ten year old and even to the fifteen, she helped around the night restaurants as the waitress, and even sometimes helped around in the kitchen. She loved to cook some of the some of the traditional food from Saudi Arabia, and the customers loved that. Even that she even had maybe made up her some of her own rest recipe based on some of the families and traditional food from Saudi Arabia. She was very loved about that, and even a lot of customers loved some of her own recipe that she made up. And for that, made her dream and passion to drive and even take over the restaurant one day. When she was about twenty-two years old, both her parents had decided it was time for them to retire, but they decided to still remain at the restaurant to help around. Since her grandfather passed away at least a few years earlier, they were saying she would not be able to handle to take care of the restaurant. Unless she had hired someone, but her parents, she, they wanted to spend around help help around in the restaurant, which Conga Curry didn't mind that her parents helped around, because only about maybe six months after that she had taken over, she hired at least one other pony to be as a waitress. Another time she hired another chef, and the restaurant went perfectly fine, even though sometimes that her parents. Hopped in to be helping around, but only a few years after she had taken over the restaurant, she fell in love with a stallion in from Cantalot. They even got married after being dating for about four years, and they even had later twin daughters of their own. Now, for Tempest, if she never had decided to eat at the restaurant where she met Saffron. She would never have met her true love, and experience all the true love that afterwards. Even Sapphire, if she never had encountered Tempest at the restaurant the first time, she might never have experienced the true passion of so much joy and love from Tempest. But they were both really happy that they met at the restaurant for the first time all those years ago. Even knowing, without knowing, they both fall in love with each other, but their love for each other remains strong after all these years. And even for Tempest, she was most of all happy that she had reconnected with her family and had met her true love, Saffron Masala. Even Saffron was really happy to have met. Campus for the first time, all those years ago at the restaurant, and that's how Saffron Masala and Tempest Shadow from the True Love got a family together. The end.